Hello, public. Yes. Hubba hubba hubba. <laughs> I'm an artist. That's why. Oh, that's why I look like this. And I'm all dressed up to the nines with no place to go except my computer station in my home based office. Yours truly, Tyler Lord Hamilton. <sighs> so, let me. Zoom it all in a bit. <coughs> Excuse MOR. <laughs> okay, so this is basically my autobiographical sketch, but it's probably going to be published as biographical sketch. But I'm writing it, though I'm using like a third person. So here, oh gosh, my nose is itching because of my makeup. Oh, have a have a. My makeup artist is in is in the um, upstairs of my home here. Uh, is from North Hollywood, and so she put my makeup on and everything. And she's there upstairs watching some good old fashioned Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton rallies, things like that. Maybe now. <laughs> okay, let's go. They helped me with my wardrobe, co wardrobe costume attire. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to make this as explicit and succinct as possible. For the substantiation of the work, I need to most dearly speak it very slowly as I read it back to you, so please bear with me. Competitive speech communication, socio-political interaction, slash, exchange, and the voice for the performing arts biography. Whew, that's long! Eventually, maybe my editor will go ahead and shorten it a little bit here and there. Do a little weeny teeny on it. Coo 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 coo. Actually, coo 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 coo. <laughs> Just having a wonderful Java moment. Okay. There is in different categories this biography. Establishment of Tyler Lord Hamilton Helping Gaymanity. Tyler Lord Hamilton possesses undergraduate degrees, sociology, speech communication, musical theater performance, and criminal justice. One master degree, graduate level, in public administration with an emphasis in government and policy, along the side of his PhD in general psychology with a concentration in cognition and instruction. Tyler Lord Hamilton's immediate and full obligation is helping the homosexual man that seeks social justice and is always invited to stand up and apply knowledge toward gay manatee issues, just as Tyler Lord Hamilton encourages. Taught by Tyler Lord Hamilton via the usage of speech and creative arts that alert leaders this can reduce crime when we invest in the gay male and his composition of self in society. 
substantial support has been there to lead Tyler Hamilton to the place of instructing the independent homosexual toward social arts plus confidence building via speech communication lesson plans, civic duty leadership, as well as a scientific humanism of speech. That goes as far as the oldest discipline known to man. Okay, the next category, introducing Dr. Mobley and Dr. Zwischner. Having earned an associate degree, oh my gosh, my nose is itching again because of my makeup. Whew. Ah. <laughs> Having earned an associate degree in theater performance, speech communication, and general sociology from Cuesta College, San Luis Obispo, California, Tyler Lord Hamilton gained knowledge under the theatrical and speech arts supervision of both Professor slash Dr. Johnny Patricia Mobley, PhD, and Professor slash Dr. Linda Zoichner, PhD, to make his very own, quote, come to be known, unquote, big impact on society. As a paramount, oop, pardon me, wrong word, read it wrong, <coughs> gotta reread it then. <laughs> As a prominent, not paramount, as a prominent lecturer of the American and British theater, sacrificially, Dr. Mobley, whom interestingly came from out of RADA, Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, London, England, pushed Tyler Lord Hamilton fantastically and strictly toward his future's imminent distinction. Prior to RADA, she studied at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and through Tyler Lord Hamilton's deep dreaming states, co-mingled with her as she advised him of early day era, very much mysterious celebrity spots in Hollywood that would be great places for him to channel energy when he was ready to do so. Coming from out of UCLA, Dr. Mobley had the opening to encourage Tyler Lord Hamilton in his studies to reach the acting coach Estelle Harmon studio from UCLA to provide scholarship in which eventually happened, happened. After being coached by Dr. Mobley. The influence of Dr. Mobley helped shape Tyler Lord Hamilton. Dr. Mobley is editor and translator of, quote, Access to Shakespeare, unquote, series, and an author of, quote, Play Production Today, unquote. Dr. Zoichner, comparably, is senior instructor in the communications department at Cuesta College. Tyler Lord Hamilton was educated one-on-one -on -one in theater and speech communication tutelage, competed in speech tournaments under both of these outstanding achievers, mentors, plus teachers of his chosen crafts. Representing speech departments and acquiring ward, awards. Let me rewrite that. Let me rewrite that. Let me reread that, let me re -read that again. This coffee's really jazzing me up. representing speech departments and acquiring awards via competitive speech tournaments. Having total gratitude with the exceptional mentorships from these professors and giving them credit in what they invested as to the Lord being Tyler Lord, Hamilton represented statewide Cuesta College's competitive speech department and forensic team for two years in San Luis Obispo, California. In 1992, Tyler Lord Hamilton represented these divisions and sectors, then placed second to California speech finals for expository speaking. Placing, place, pardon me, placing second in the California state speech finals for expository and cogent speaking at Mount Sac, San Antonio College, Tyler Lord Hamilton heightened and established cognition in the form of an interior monologue that would later lend itself to him deciding to go heavily into the performing arts, public arena, and civic duty, owing 
to his self-confidence, speech production, plus expanded learned vocalization. that came from his speech communication studies. Mount Sac, where Tyler Lord Hamilton attained merit and the high esteem reputation, is located in a Los Angeles suburb of Walnut, California. According to the Association of California Community Colleges, the institution there happens to be among the biggest of California's 112 community colleges that carries one of the most finest, one of the most, pardon me, one of the most finest speech communications field of study education. As the sureness materialized for Tyler Lord Hamilton, Mount Sack holds a research-oriented incline towards servant leadership role and public administration capacity, preparing students like Tyler Lord Hamilton for national excellence, speech pathology, diction, keynote speaking events, and observant speculation techniques to earn an audience an audience's believability. Pardon me. Via the gestural form of human communication, the synaptic combination and consciousness to reach the listener with information, Tyler Lord Hamilton made top finalist status in a quote, speech to persuade, unquote, category from an entirely different independent competition held against Pepperdine University, Malibu, and other prestigious schools such as University of Southern California, Los Angeles, USC. This gave Tyler Lord Hamilton suitable speech recognition and communication empowerment on the word of his professors as it was the all-winning pursuits in contemplating public office proviso of his future work to come. Written up in his Cuesta College's newspaper, it is what could never suit to stop hunger for the enlarging of the self's portrait into some one greater. Having social arts awareness and one day speech persuasion expertise, implying serious advocacy to assist others in the gay community, such as gay men, hurting from discrimination and homophobia through through an oral and hey wait a minute stop the title Lord Hamilton let's start that since it's over because you've added a lot of jazz to it Pardon me, listener. Having social arts awareness and one day speech persuasion expertise, implying serious advocacy to help others in the gay community turn toward art and communications, such as gay men hurting from discrimination and homophobia through an oral interpretation phases in life, each would help the man become more self-confident. Something's wrong with this sentence. Having social arts awareness and one day speech persuasion expertise implying serious advocacy to assist others in the gay community To turn toward art and communications through an oral and speech interpretation phase in life, gay men hurting from discrimination and homophobia each would help the man become more self-confident. You know what? I'm going to highlight that red and I'm going to take a better look at it when I'm finished with this little bio of being uploaded on YouTube. Right, baby doll? Don't want to waste your time. <sighs> Following all of these competitive speech tournaments, as well as awards earned, it was requested that Tyler Lord Hamilton accept that he was then to be selected and nominated by Dr. Zoyscher to serve as a judge, known by enthusiasm, known by 
known by his enthusiasm as critical adjudicator through academic decathlon for local high schools' speech competitions and playoffs in San Luis Obispo County. The, off, the local office of Edge, pardon me, the local office of education and San Luis Obispo County superintendents of schools not only applauded Tyler Hamilton's service and civic duty to his academic community, but after news travels soon was soon thereafter elected by Dr. Mobley to sit as a San Luis Obispo downtown Brown community community bear mascot for farmers markets, parades, dignitaries, and mayor events. Taking on every opportunity, this mascot position involved charitable contributory activism toward confined philanthropy that was the first exposure to the workings of public administration and civic onus, onus which means obligation. Well, that was tough to get through, but we got through it. But now, gosh, we have like nine more pages. Sorry. It's really long. But please pardon me. Globalized preaching and teaching conversational English speaking skills for immigrants, immigrees, as well as refugees. Tyler Lord Hamilton preached in the past for the Church of Christ and numerous missionary global efforts that contained speaking demands in congregation various town squares, psychiatric and general hospitals, such as in Ukraine, former Soviet Union, and serving to care for the soul of alcoholic Navajo Indian men in many farms, Arizona, in addition to building a church in Takeda, Mexico. Tyler Lord Hamilton's Wait, during during one of Tyler Lord Hamilton's missionary global assignments, comma, he and his team, his team went to the red light district of Copenhagen, Denmark, to minister to prostitutes, I don't want to say drug dealers, I want to say drug sellers, and then I'll put dealers in parentheses. as well as as well as HIV slash AIDS people. What about such as people living with HIV slash AIDS? Tyler Lord Hamilton went on to join Pepperdine University in a global missionary project called Let's Start Talking. This project was designed by Oklahoma Christian University, OCU, in parenthesis, in little captions, to impact various countries with the gospel words of Jesus Christ via the usage of the Bible as an English text, thus giving conversational English, speech, and self-confidence building skills to foreign populations. It is a project where Tyler Lord Hamilton has students from Laos, Thailand, Poland, and East Berlin, plus other places throughout West Germany, working from off of a vulnerability the Germans experienced at that time because of the demolition, demolition of their Berlin Wall, excuse me, Tyler Lord Hamilton's work transpired during unique European politics and was contracted just after such badness of such wall barrier came down. Tyler Lord Hamilton also worked in the competence of expatriate, 
safekeeping at the International Institute of San Francisco, California, where he taught basic English to immigrants and refugees. At this time and up to this day, Tyler Hamilton produced a workbook to be added permanently to the Institute's library for further, pardon me, for future, <clears throat> excuse me, for future, for, eh, meh, eh, pardon me, for future students that want to learn how to stand and speak well. The booklet introduces famous quote. The booklet, pardon me, introduces famous quotations of celebrated people amid pictorials that epitomize the topic being studied. Followed by an exercise to have the pupils speak in their own words for meaning, comprehension, and daily associate. Ah, daily. As this coffee is jacking me up like Jack that goes up the beanstalk or Santa Claus that goes up the chimney and stands on the roof before he goes down the chimney to give presents I'm jacked up to the top ah. comprehension and daily association to the subject matter ha. Tyler Lord Hamilton was both teacher and mentor of the select social population in beautiful San Francisco and metropolitan area prior to attending his accepted application to the White House Internship Committee. Bet you didn't know I did that, huh? Maybe now, but I did. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tyler Hamilton, next to him, working also as a teacher's aide in English and providing speaking lessons to immigrants and refugees at the YMCA Literacy School of San Francisco. He competed a pronounced. No, he completed, not competed. Duh. Pardon me. He completed a pronounced contractual agreement for sustaining the program at the YMCA melting pot of criminality in San Francisco's dangerous ghetto tenderloin historic, historic district, pardon me, this work Tyler Hamilton attended was managed by a professor from UC Berkeley to make sure the YMCA literacy program would not fold up due to lack of funding and resources for the disadvantaged. Here, many folks had been entirely touched by the speaking lessons Tyler Hamilton furnished. Very soon after the contract expired, though, the professor wrote a recommendation for Tyler Hamilton work at the White House, which, by this letter, helped grant his access to the National Park, thus became a greeter for citizens viewing the Lincoln Memorial Monument, Washington, D.C., as a result of living on Capitol Hill and one day getting mugged at gunpoint. period. Tyler Hamilton immediately came back to his home in California on behalf of safety. Vocal art scholar. Next category. <laughs> Let's get some more of my, my dope, my caffeine, my drugs, this is my caffeine here. Yeah. Put it on the right side now. Have it on the left side, the cup. Now the cup goes on the right side. <laughs> Balancing everything out. God. Oh. I shouldn't be drinking so much caffeine today. Vocal arts scholar. Tyler Lord Hamilton possesses a comprehensive high merit rating as a 15th top bass singer statewide solo festival participant who's won many command performances during high school senior year 1989 and demonstrated not only superlative speaking astuteness and speech perception owing to his winning attitude, but announcing his song and hired accompaniment that rendered auditory and visual information on how polished Tyler Hamilton's performance arts and oratory work have become. Competitory attainments are gold medallion, 
California Vocal Arts Scholar Spring 1989, California Institute, uh, pardon me, California Institute of the Arts, also known as CalArts, Brass Medallion, All State Honor Choir 1988 to 1989, by Music, by Cal, pardon me, by California Music Educators Association, and Bismuth Future Medallion, Kern County Superintendent of Schools 1988 to 1989. That being a civic duty to music education, a superlative student, speaker, and singer in Tyler and Hamilton's blood, he shared training over a time period of 40-some years really sets him apart away from cultural mediocrity. While even the life of song contains inter interpretation, pardon me, and a heart that goes way beyond his knack, example, i.e., Utilizing his awards and scholar attainments, Tyler Hamilton depicts a winning attitude for humanity to learn from. I already used that winning attitude statement, so let me see. A winning... So let's change winning attitude to... Okay, Tyler Hamilton depicts a capti captivating boldness for humanity to learn from. Singer, theatrical stage performer, and nodules complication. As a high achiever during his speech, communication, confidence building, and musical theater developmentalism for his community in school, Tyler Lord Hamilton received simultaneously the lead part slash protagon whatever, General Bulmus, epitome of ruthless capitalist character role in his school's musical Little Abner more so there was. At this time of becoming a positive character after 1985 to 1989, unfortunately, Tyler and Hamilton received modules on his vocal cords from straining his voice during the best work he could execute at that time. Though he accomplished command performances, indemnified certificates for merit scholarship in high school and in college at the same time, over and above the complicatedness normally involved with acquiring admittance into Cal Arts, California Institute of the Arts summer program, Tyler and Hamilton let it go and knew the voice and speech level speaking technique enough to gain more acknowledgement by not talking for months, preserving the voice from any further damage. On a silver platter, inasmuch as his voice was hoarse, Cal Arts as the institution's grant and scholarship endowments had been handed over to this well sought after Tyler Hamilton. Such entrance afford aff, pardon me, such entrance reaffirmed his calling plus professionalism to an artistic theatrical career of vocal performance and public speaking. In order to push the rock up the hill, so to speak, Tyler and Hamilton's preparatory studies were also executed through the lessons of the Alexander Technique at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music, pardon me. At this conservatory, while he learned about an educational process, the technique that advances the aptitude and realigning of posture, Tyler Lord Hamilton received a high summary of posture education to play instruments, deliver speeches, and proper acting tools. It includes the use of body through correct diaphragmatic breathing to no longer abuse the voice, but project vocal sound by not reacquiring nodules. Next to not ruining real speech communication services to the field. The direct cultural impact thenceforth is that award-winning singer and speaker, I know it sounds verbose and convoluted, and dramatic, and like it's some delusional thoughts of grandeur, but it's the truth. I am a winning singer, an award-winning singer and speaker, period. Tyler and Hamilton pursued society's welfare for the self that can only be consoled through well-poised speeches, 
technically and musically skilled instrumentation, invention, and, and systems of classification on adaptive devices such as wind, string, or air musical instruments across nations, depending, of course, on the art performance, all for one vocation and or vocal pedagogies that would make room for his superstar moment, Tyler Lord Hamilton's interpretive song Ability to play the bagpipes, piano, and violin emulates love for theatrics and performance arts alike. Now, people listening are probably thinking, well, why isn't he going and doing something more than just making these videos on YouTube? What the problem? Well, the thing is, is I found crystal meth, methamphetamine, and a lot of this stuff was set by my blessings of God, but I let it piss away. So now I've worked really hard to get back to the level where I'm receiving more academy, alcalades, and scholarly independent research interests so I can get myself up to where I belong in civic duty. So that's why um, I'm explaining this to you. My next one is private voice instruction and specialized training. Giving realm to the influence of speech communication, competitive speech, and I do fight very hard to bring to remain sober. So even though I have this face on me, thank you to my artistic makeup artists upstairs. They're probably having wham bam thank you ma'am moments. Hello. Um, they've been drinking coffee too. Um, you know, yeah, I fight very hard to be sober, and even though my face looks like this, and I'm very avant-garde and bizarre and eccentric, I'm very wacko harmless. I'm very freaky harmless. I'm very psycho harmless. I'm not harmful. And, you know, I could ha I have every attorney in this nation around my finger because I am what? I am staying sober. And, you know, the AA and working the steps have been very pivotal to my success. So there you go. So I appreciate the public sector not putting me down. Because I want you to know, I am sober and that's what matters. I am feeling my emotions. I'm not escaping using hard control substances or alcohol, but I am sober. And if I look like a freak, I'm not breaking the law. So give me a break. Numero uno, I'm sober. That's a huge accomplishment. That's what matters. So I'm doing great. I'm doing okay. Some of my family members on my dad's side, they tell me I'm going to hell and I'm lost. Hello, I'm working on my PhD. I'm sober from meth. I'm trying to help gay guys that can't help themselves. And they tell me I'm lost. Now talk about being a change agent. Hello, right here. And then they put me down like that. You know, I'm here to help. The helpless. I'm here to love the unlovely. I am here to be friends of the friendless. I am here to shop for those that are shopless, that don't have funds. I am here to clothe the naked, feed the starving, and house the homeless. I'm very Mormon, very Church of Mormon, LDS, Latter-day Saints mentality. But at the end of the day, I am sober. I'm doing fine, and it's not right that people go around telling me I need to go to hell or I should kill myself on YouTube. People have been very rude to me. So anyways, next, the next category. Private voice instruction and specialized training. Giving realm to the influence of speech communication, competitive speech, social interaction, and exchange to raise the sense of self-worth as a gay man. Tyler Lord Hamilton furthermore studied voice and speech level singing preparation for the industry's imminent, infamous singing slash vocal coach Seth Riggs. Lessons for vocal therapy and original speech level singing SLS technique is widely utilized as the method of 120 Grammy Award nominees and winners, Oscars, along the side of countless famous singers' gold record successes. In Seth Riggs' vocal studio, other megastars like Michael Jackson, Natalie Cole, Anita Baker, Stevie Wonder, Julio Iglesias, Ricky Martin, Whoopi Goldberg, Prince, Josh Groban, Ray Charles, Barbara Streisand, Cher, Tina Turner, Diana Ross, Janet Jackson, Madonna, and Conan O'Brien 
plus many others trained celebrities in private for this well-designed technique Tyler Hamilton on behalf of Seth Riggs employs in his line of business. Next to the Alexander technique beforehand, Seth Riggs beforehand before locating Seth Riggs. Seth Riggs impacted Tyler Hamilton's technique for singing ballads, social outcomes for registering requested rare venues for the fan base's needs and wants as a communicator of song and important meaning to help men. Seth Riggs is one of Tyler Hamilton's most visible, famous vocal coaches for voice lessons and legendary speech level singing techniques. With an operating agreement and celebrity know-how through, through Seth Riggs, pardon me, Tyler Lord Hamilton additionally studied this power of speech, command voice, singing and music theory under the supervision of coaches and voice technicians. As a big load of triple threat, Tyler Lord Hamilton had special training by the help that also came along includes, of course, musical director Rhonda Bogart's vocal coaching studio in Palm Springs slash Hollywood, former songstress in Sweden with Johnny Mathis. Not only studying voice with Rhonda Bogart, Tyler Hamilton, as a learnt man of musical theater at best, took lessons with, took lessons by, took lessons with, took lessons from, Deanna Delors Voce Studio, Voice Studio, in the historic village of Rio Grande, California. Deanna Delore is a certified speech level singing expert under Seth Riggs' direction. Utilizing bicoastal representation and grandfathered into more prestige, Tyler Hamilton studied under the direction of Broadway star of Miss Saigon, Leila Florentino's American Studio for the Performing Arts, Speech Level Singing Expert 2. Additionally, Tyler Lord Hamilton had several other trainers. The Met stars New York Metropolitan Opera House at Lincoln Center, like Professor Dr. Della Nella Girolo, PhD from Cuesta College Cultural and Performing Arts at San Luis Obispo, California, plus Professor Dr. Judith Klinger, PhD of Eastman School of Music at PCPA, Pacific Repertory for the Performing Arts, the institute that late actor comedian Robin Williams attended before he was submitted into the Juilliard School of Dance, Drama, and Music. Prior to these studies, these special trainings, pardon me, for Tyler Hamilton, other critical teachers were Bonnie Hart, Daryl Cates, Cates, pardon me, Sandy Valentino, and Phyllis Sixon. Tyler Lord Hamilton's professionalism, dependability, and perseverance, in addition to speech and singing background, granted him two auditions with Estelle Harmon Studio, personally, and Stella Adler Studio of Acting in New York City. Stella Adler was an American actress and acclaimed acting teacher, plus she founded the Stella Adler a Academy of Acting and Theater in Los Angeles, California. Okay, the next category, American Academy of Dramatic Arts, AADA Education. Tyler Lord Hamilton entered Los Angeles slash New York's prestigious summer program at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, AADA, in 1991. Alumni at AADA have been nominated for 96 Oscars, 245 Emmys, and 86 Tonys. Famous graduates that attended are Grace Kelly, Robert Redford, Danny DeVito, Don Rickles, Katherine Hepburn, Lauren Bacall, Kate Jackson, Kirk Douglas, and Spencer Tracy. While a summer intensive program at AADA is where Tyler Lord Hamilton was taught syntax and phonetics, voice and speech, vocal production, and breathing technique, body and stage movement, makeup application, critical scene work, and scripting processes for cold readings in support of audition preparation. He had the advantage to focus on his craft through several other famous teachers. As it happened, Tyler Lord Hamilton studied with internationally 
recognized Kenyon Martin, now deceased, who in fact is one of the most decadent, favored past students of internationally acclaimed French actor and world's best mime artist Marcel Marceau. While founding the resplendent and eponymous, whatever, Kenyon Martin's National Mime Theater, New York, New York, for whomever or whichever it was named, he did so happen to hold clout as people always responded to Kenyon Martin's intuition to pull out the learned Mel as a new face for mime artistry during his lifetime could bear. To have known the old and beautiful world of classical mime artistry, not only teacher-student dancers standing together on the sharpest social entrepreneurial sense, Tyler Lord Hamilton became occupied through a living organism of brain totality to speak in silent movements. This is much so designated to dance contentment for one great colorful career that soon handed, handed over the wisdom in the arts to gay manity, helping men get on the right path by using the power of no speech, but mere power of an advocate voice through physical body speaking terms. Speaking and dancing terms. While it was at AADA where Tyler Lord Hamilton studied acting, voice, and speech, vocal production, makeup, and stage movement, he transferred the mime arts directly under the individualistic artistic director, director of Marcel Merceau's past protege, Kenyon Martin, to then travel to Russia and Ukraine, former Soviet Union, on a mime tour. There, Tyler Lord Hamilton also shared publicly on stage what his faith in a loving higher power means next to satisfying the work position of team reporter and speaker for Slavic ministries through his globalized missionary outreach group. Inasmuch as Tyler Lord Hamilton originally invested his education in theater performing arts, dance and acting, voice and makeup at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, AADA, he used mime to communicate well. Yet, through, through Kenyon Martin. Yet, Tyler Lord Hamilton and missions. Yet, Tyler Lord Hamilton also went on to acquire production assistant studio training in film, television, music, animation at the Beverly Hills Presbyterian Pardon me, the Beverly Hills Production Assistance Association, Beverly Hills, California. In addition to earning his certificate and diploma in independent filmmaker, cinema director, and line producer at the Hollywood Film Institute. Tyler Lord Hamilton was received the feature film producer, owner Dov Simmons of the Film School to revolutionize the film industry. Lyricist, entrepreneur, using vocal technique and original prose. This is the next category. Now, let's take a little a break. A lot of people might say, gosh, Tyler Lord Hamilton, you sure talk a lot about yourself. You just don't shut up. Well, you know what, you know, and you, you shouldn't be writing like this. Nobody has time to listen to you. Well, you know what, you don't have sex with me in a relationship, nor as a stranger, okay? You have no physical contact with me. You don't pay my rent, and you do not wipe my rear ends. So you don't have a right to be putting me down like that. One moment. Yes, hi, hello? Hi. Hi, 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 how are you? Oh, 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 yes, please. Okay, thank you. Hi, how are you today? Oh, oh. I love you. Oh, thank you. Um, I have a, I, I want to see you soon so I can sing a song for you. Oh, 
Oh, it's 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 from oh it's it's Opus Six, Number Six from Tchaikovsky. I put some original lyricism and some emotional dialogue to it. It's such a beautiful song for you, Grandma. I wrote it for you. Okay, well, I maybe in a few weeks, uh, uh, I can come out there and share it with you. Well, yeah, I, I, because it's better in person. I, it, it won't sound as good if I, if I sing it over the telephone. Okay, okay. Grandma. Hi, I, I'm working on my PhD in general psychology with the concentration in cognition and instruction. I, I, I'm, I'm wanting to help people that can't help themselves. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's a lot of work because, the, yeah, yeah, but you know, we reap what we sow. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. So, um, I mean, thank you for blessing me. I hope I can sing for you very soon. Can can you ask? Can you ask if I can? Okay, 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 okay. I I have to. Okay. Well, it's 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 in the other room, and I'd have to set up my whole my whole. Uh, my it's 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 better in person it just it, because i don't know how to sing into the phone i don't know if i should put the phone away from my mouth or if i should put the phone close to my mouth it'd be very hard to uh to to present the work yes yes You're 102 years old. Yes. Okay, yeah, well, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Oh, I'll see you soon. Oh. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm I'm going I'm going uh probably this week. I have I you know I'm, I might go to an audition on Tuesday, but I'm not sure. And then the the next couple of days I have an appointment with Gloria at Athena in Beverly Hills so um, I have some entertainment stuff I'm trying to work up but I'm trying to go to Lamont sometime um, you know uh, yes this week what are you thinking yeah I'll try to do that yeah I, I got I gotta resolve that I, I'm gonna try to do an arraignment Okay. No, sorry, I can't sing right now. Yeah. Okay, I drive safe. Bye. Bye. Sorry, my grandmother's 102 years old. And uh, on my dad's side of the family, so I had to kind of like raise the flag for that one. Ah. Anyways, lyricist entrepreneur using vocal technique and original prose. Tyler Lord Hamilton was deemed and branded as the Mel Lady Gaga by Athena Talent Management of Beverly Hills, California. Fashionably, 
attired in snazzy winners' sterling silver cufflinks, empowered by bow tie and poshest Versace belt. Tyler Hamilton understands the deliverables of Tinseltown, Glitter Hollywood. Tyler Hamilton wears many hats, multiple skill sets ranging from all sorts of arts, spiritually known talents to academics, literature, and higher order thinking skills, pro speech communications, or to work to convey and articulate his original lyricism. All in which proves self's willpower in life that matters to the dapper heart at birth. Tyler Lord Hamilton brilliantly to this day puts words to genius prodigies, wonder kind minds, such as playwright William Shakespeare's sonnet 55, pardon me, William Shakespeare's sonnet 57, to composer Joseph Haydn's masterwork. Tyler Lord Hamilton gives other performances of speech communication and oral interpretive skills, including singing his own emotional dialogue and lyricism to symphonic orchestrations that have never had designated words until now. Tyler Lord Hamilton is using Ace's Death from Pierre Gint by Edvard Hager uh, Greg, Eric Satie, in addition to the Polish composer Friedrich Frankus Chopin. Positioning, pardon me, positioning himself, Tyler Hamilton performs Mahler, Tchaikovsky, Bach, Marion, Trotman, Gell. The masterwork is titled Tyler Hamilton's Royal Orchestrations. Additionally, the Hamilton Classical Opera Series with original libretto prose and emotional dialogue by Tyler Hamilton. During private study, psychiatric hospitals, uh, hospitalizations coming down off, off of uh, methamphetamine. and raw soul-searching toward his written De Musique, there had been determinate places where Tyler Lord Hamilton performed poetry readings and visions showcases on his original poetry. Tyler Lord Hamilton appeared and presented his original poetry and sacred psalms in his debut inauguration at, the, at a myriad of cafes on or after San Francisco to Santa, Bar Santa Monica, California. Pardon me. His work began at Cafe Monet and Green Dragon Cafe, in Santa Barbara, Coffee Merchant and Linnea's Cafe, San Luis Obispo, through the one-man showcase, The Dramatic Art of Jeffrey Scott, by use of his birth name prior to changing it to Tyler Lord Hamilton. Tyler Lord Hamilton presented his work, Song and Speech Talents, at the Betty Boop Lounge and Theater at Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, as well as Comedy Shop on Catal Santa Catalina Island and and Avalon Harbor, California. Pardon me. Sociopolitical activism and speech arts application. Tyler Lord Hamilton, with his speech expertise and public administration degree, with an emphasis in government and policy making, he has been led to give a public speech plus environmental activism interest in social justice, social justice studies. Being involved by canvassing and campaigning through the through novelistic activism in 2012 on behalf of ending this oceanic and social trauma planned by PG&E, Tyler Hamilton pioneered a petition a petition to stop Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant PG&E seismic testing crimes in California's Pacific Ocean, Avila Beach, California. This included Ocean Outfall Group, OOG, returning the oceans to health and abundance by the guidance of community organizer, director, and activist Joey Ricano. This was used as a social science emergency public service announcement as Tyler Lord Hamilton discusses 
his social science emergency for men to unite for an environmental cause of a lifetime. This lecture is presented on YouTube. Tyler Hamilton's activism on anti-seismic testing agenda, in addition to conspiracy, President Obama watching this political participation as independent environmentalists, our government's negligence to not withdraw from using the same technology employed in Peru, hence it killed thousands of marine life, needed to be stopped with the assistance of Santa Barbara, California. As this became a social ecology terrorization, a planted man in Tyler Lord Hamilton's congregated group started giving an anti-government speech while the TV station and professional photographers were covering the story. Joey Racano, working as a group servant and point leader, explained at the end of the day that it was not Nazi-based harassment and that any offered speech given to Tyler and Hamilton and others was socially redeeming, valuable, and mature to do. To, to do in the in the light of even television programming. Television televisionary that a word? No. Okay. Tyler Lord Hamilton, we're almost finished, public. Tyler Lord Hamilton stood arm in arm with California's Congresswoman Lois Cass at a workshop on stewardship that which attracted significant dialogue between the both of them, 2012. The conference workshop and gathering was called Love in Action, a stewardship and justice workshop of Southwest California's Snynod, hosted by Trinity Lutheran Church, Santa Barbara, California. As the seminar with practicum was in receipt of Tyler Hamilton's brief conclusion, advocacy speech to examine Lois Capps on the topic of stewardship of fearful, ashamed gay men in the select social population of discriminated males that suffer isolation, she answered his she answered Tyler Lord Hamilton's socio philosophical and political inquiry in regards to doing justice, loving mercy, plus walking humbly before God. Lois Capps was the keynote speaker and provided help in democracy promotion as Tyler Lord Hamilton's U.S. Representative for California's 24th Congregational District, serving in Congress since 2003. She is native to Santa Barbara, plus worships at Grace Lutheran Church on Upper State Street, where Tyler Lord Hamilton frequented often before closing, before, before closing, consequentially using the land for new complexes pro-affordable housing with irrigated vegetable gardens that will help the poor for a that will help the poor for a long time. That will help the poor. That will help. That will help poor residents in Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, California. Accompanied by protective affiliations, colleagues, and collaborators detailed to Tyler Lord Hamilton's administration and private practice accomplishment, he works one-on-one -on -one with affluent men that hold status markers for power elitist significance. Professors and policy forecasters anchored closely in another strategically laid down list of skill sets attained over time by a collection of shared knowledge. Course outlines main points for justice studies concur to said expertise. 
that is on the manifestly reliable threshold to initiate a dual plan that facilitates life coaching, counseling alternatives, and policy enrichment assistance to men through the help of Ty Lord Hamilton. Serious offenders like pedophile priests, misuse of homosexuality, and pornographic arts, adulterated liars, male hustlers, and illegal drug dealers are often in attendance for the serious operative impl implementation to unmanipulate emotion socio-psychologically for the public sacred apportionment as what has been put in men's heads via reports during stage performances, speeches, or lectures. Government officials, diplomats, dignitaries, celebrities, CEOs, and misguiding male accomplice, accomplices such as commissioners of white-collar crime are catered to, likewise, for intervention, preventative aid, and progress of specific speeches given at conferences, etc. by Tyler Lord, Lord Hamilton. YouTube stardom and reaching gay manatee. Using controlled media publications, open source social science media commons like Facebook and or Twitter, etc. significantly captions play a big role in the most supercomposed scientific social speeches and communications in the arts to help to help homosexual men amid singing, acting, and modeling to renew the spirit of man and gain self-confidence plus spiritual poise. This can be viewed in Tyler Hamilton's video portrayals and vital socio-spiritual uh, pl plus spiritual way. Tyler Hamilton's video portrayals and video socio-political spoken commentaries via YouTube. Tyler Hamilton's YouTube channel is called Social Alchemy Project where a viewer may hear of his work in social justice concurrently. Tyler Lord Hamilton gives an emotionally astute summary on how to be gay and how not to be gay for him and others as leaders of morality as well as civic duty. It is a good thing if the sexual violence fantasies portrayed in pornography are unearthed through YouTube lectures by Tyler Hamilton speaking on improving spirit and helping to heal men after shock and degradation. Thusly, come forward using social arts and creativity parallel to courageously speaking publicly with self-esteem jutting, jutting through, through the criminological sciences. Tyler Hamilton in such presentation presupposes that the purpose is to let go of what has been taught in free speech society of sexual deviation, then relearn to think straight and not have attachments that may taint love in the mind of soul ties that may be that may bring worthlessness to a gay community striving for equality and human rights. Helping gay men come forward in confidence building. Tyler Lord Hamilton is inspired more by singing and his speech and his speaking to stand in the world of advocacy to help gay men that cannot help themselves. As civic duty and social responsibility, having the flair and operative skill set for valuable speech, vocal and musical projection, this was the only strategy and path to lead others to good pride in safer global community of a disabling homosexuality that that daunts gay manatee and civilian group lobbyists.
This was to come forward to assist the gay man whom must speak his truth with a capital T and to advocate a transparent society in a translucent social psychology by use of social arts and musical theater, anything ringing true via one solitary voice. Definitive education in the civic duty. It is an enormously disturbing analysis as outreach mobilization goes to get their spirit. Yet, as for the gay community, there mayn't be care to improve lives through self-confidence building if barebacking, condomless, and party drugs are condoned, methamphetamines, crystal meth, tina. It takes a man that no society, while later in the professional pursuits of Tyler and Hamilton, being testified as American senior graduate and doctoral research humanistic cognition social scientist Tyler Hamilton. Definitive education and definitive, I would say definitive in the civic duty, not education. That's a good title for that one. Definitive in the civic duty. To, to help gay men. Building reputation and heading to the White House as civic duty. Previously rated as a second based best bass soloist in Central California's California by accompanying, pardon me, it's a granite for music, Tyler Lord Hamilton as command soloist. Oh. Of the early gospel Negro spiritual work, Go Down Daniel, granted him standing ovation 1988 to 1989 in view of that designated to sing an Italian aria by Stradella Piatissinore, O Lord Have Mercy. This honorary performance was for mayor, politicians, musicologists, dick doctors, lawyers, public administrators, wealthy realtors, and other public figures. The marvelously world event Tyler Lord Hamilton hitting big time was first realized once he was selected as one of the 15 top singers of the California Music Educators Association through his custard pie years. That which hit press releases, newspapers, and radio apparatus statewide from Sacramento, San Francisco Bay Area to San Diego, San Diego, California, pardon me. As a result, he was given numerous opportunities to sing on stage. As evaluative open source social media and personalized support came from former Governor George Duke, Ma Duke Majin of, this, of the state of California, Tyler Lord Hamilton had the joy of being brought before live audiences as California Art Scholar by recognition program that made his greatest impression for music education scholars, choir masters, superlative arrangements, localized choral landscape, and vocal institutions. Plus, deliberately participated in the Allstate Honor Choir singing the Requiem Opus 9 with Domini Domini Jesus Christi, Kyrie Eleison, Sanctus and Agnus Dei, by French composer, organist, and pedagogy Maurice Darnafli. The White House Social Events Office Entertainment Committee, Washington, D.C., learned of Tyler Lord Hamilton when he and his opera duo via universe submitted their music and performance to the social events office in the event there was a place to in the event there was an oppor opportunity 
to perform during the William Bill um, administration. Next to the White House receiving Tyler Lord Hamilton's material One moment, one moment everybody for one moment performance I'm so sorry this is taking so long, public. The White House Social Defense Office Entertainment Committee, Washington, D.C., learned of Tyler Hamilton when he and his opera duo, opera duo, Via Universe, submitted their music and performance to the Social Defense Office. Social Defense office in the event there was an opportunity to perform during William Bill administration. William Bill Clinton's Clinton administration. Next to the White House receiving Tyler Hamilton materi materials, materials, as well as Institut pour le Development de Vocale and Conservatory International de Musique of Paris, France, just to name several sources, deemed flattering deemed flattering remarks about this rare talent, Tyler Hamilton, also known as Voice of the World. Tyler Hamilton presented his a tribute to Lincoln speech and orator singing performance for the Executive Office of Mayor Willie Brown and his office staff, San Francisco. Cala as a result, Mayor Willie Brown kindly wrote a recommendation letter to, to, to have been sent to the White House letter about Tyler Lord Hamilton's work to have been sent to the pardon me. As a result, Mayor Willie Brown kindly wrote a recommendation letter on behalf of Tyler Hamilton's work to have to 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 reach the White House Internship Committee for where Tyler Hamilton was granted approval for match hunting during the William Bill Clinton administration. The White House Internship Program is a public service leadership program that provides a unique opportunity to gain valuable professional experience and build leadership skills for, for people. It is designed to mentor and cultivate today's young leaders, strengthen their understanding of, executive of the Executive Office, and prepare them for future public service. Now that is basically uh, word for word from their website, so I need to change that. Oh, the White House Internship Program is a public service leadership program that provides that that affords a a distinctive. chance to gain to advance respected professional experience and build leadership skills skills for people. Okay, so the program affords a distinctive chance to advance respected professional experience and build leadership skills for people. It is It is intended to mentor and
promote today's young leaders? Reinforce their understanding of executive office and, and and formulate them, formulate their their thinking for future public service. Okay, there you go. So I want to thank everybody for listening to this. This has been an hour video on my biographical sketch, and it's been a lot of work for you and for me. But we're building the future together.